6, Rhode Island's Democratic congressmen are in the middle of a sit-in in Washington. This monstrous attack on the LGBT community in a place of refuge and empowerment requires us to act. Delegates from Rhode Island and Massachusetts are among the Democratic members of the House protesting on the chamber floor right now. Just a few minutes ago, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse walked over to join in their demand for a House vote on gun control after Senate action failed. And NBC10 political reporter Bill Rapley spoke by phone with one Rhode Island congressman who says they're not going anywhere. Bill? Well, that's right, Patrice and Jean. Their demand is reflected in their Twitter hashtags. No more waiting. No vote, no break. They say they will disrupt the House until leadership allows them to vote on gun control measures. With the cameras shut off, only tweets and online videos are coming out from the House of Representatives, but we did speak briefly with Congressman Jim Langevin just off the floor. But this is quite radical, isn't it? This is a direct violation of the House rules. It, it is. Right now we are, uh, we are using everything uh, that we have at our disposal to force a vote. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Never before. Kay Israel, a communications professor at Rhode Island College, says this unprecedented departure from the House rules is a sign that politics is in a new phase. It's, it's an extreme step but probably one that the Democrats feel that they have to do since they're in the minority. And what they're trying to do is reach the Republican moderates to come over and vote appropriately from their perspective. He says it's an effort to bring electoral pressure on opponents of gun control, with Democrats betting that the public is on their side. As a Republican, it's harder to go back to your constituents and say we wouldn't even allow a vote. As to how it might end up, Congressman Langevin says that's an open question. Would you start chanting and just prevent them from doing business? We are going to continue to speak and speak and speak about the need for and demand for a, a, a vote on the gun legislation that we are advocating for, uh, even if it means speaking over uh, those who are on, on the majority side. So the showdown continues. Democratic senators, had, was mentioned in the lead-in, have even come over to join in the protest. And it is a first to see this chamber disrupted like this, and it will be fascinating to see what are the repercussions. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC10 News, in the studio.